I have written a program that turns everyone into more Calliope. What do you think I'm insane? Do you think I'm something, something wrong with it me? It even uses face tracking, so it looks like it is her talking. I can also hook up my voice and face to the AI so I can turn myself into her. I've, I've taken, taken her, her identity, identity, her voice, her face, and every time I look in a mirror, I see her. There's no delay between my voice turning into her voice and my face being converted into her face. Just ignore the fact that it doesn't sound the same because I have a funny accent. But let's take a step back. What led to this? I wanted to watch YouTube but I noticed a massive problem. There isn't enough more Calliope on my YouTube recommendations. Despite her streaming quite frequently, I don't think that there are enough streams. I mean, she takes breaks and sleeps and eats and stuff. She is only human or a grim ripper in this case question mark anyways the issue is that there is not enough mori because she takes breaks but do you know something that doesn't an ai a heartless cold robot that pumps out content continuously while it has electricity according to some data i found online youtube has 30,000 hours worth of content uploaded every hour basically there is a boatload of youtube videos out there so i thought if we turn those youtube videos into mori i will have so many more clipe videos that I can't even physically watch them all. A genius idea. So I began work. There will be two components to this Mori Kalayupi Nator that I am developing. The voice and the face. I need to replicate both of these for me to be happy with the program. I also want the Mori Kalayupi Nator to be fast so I can run it in real time so I don't have to wait a long time whenever I want to watch something. Let's begin with the voice. I'm going to use a speech to speech AI model. Basically, it'll take someone's voice and then turn it into Kali's voice this is different from the other voice cloning software that you might be familiar with like 11 labs because this one doesn't need any text you don't type in anything voice comes in and voice comes out simple as to train it we need to collect a bunch of 2 to 10 second clips of her voice you could manually clip them with a program like sneedacity but since i'm a tech bro i just happen to have an ai lying around that automatically does this for me so all i have to do is input a link and i have automatically gathered the training data then the next step is to clean the data. Currently, the clips have background music playing in them. And there are also clips where it's too quiet and too loud. We can't have that because it'll greatly lower the quality of the voice and she will sound horrible. Just coincidentally, I have another AI to remove the background music as well as fix the audio. With this, we have collected everything we need to train the voice AI. Well, technically, an AI has gathered the data that we're gonna use to train the AI. I am sure nothing bad will happen if we have AIs training AIs, but that's besides the point. We have all the data we need for the AI and now we can train it. But firstly, we need some machine learning hardware. I decided to rent a GTX 3090 GPU for 20 cents an hour to train. There are alternatives where I can rent GPUs for cheaper but the 3090 is decently priced and it's pretty powerful. I also have a GTX 3060 which is a good GPU I bought just for machine learning but I wanna, I wanna play my games and I can't machine learn and game at the same time so no. So I transferred the data set to the server and downloaded the training code. Started training and 18 hours later, this is my result. I was an extra in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. I know, I know, no autographs. I'm just a normal person like all of you. I put my pants on one nipple at a time and wipe my ass crack after a hard shit with both hands. This sounds pretty good and it only took me like 15 seconds to generate 7 minutes worth of her talking, which is pretty fast. But if you listen closely, really closely you probably need a good headset but her voice is still a bit metallic and it's still a bit off and so if you did have a line in this movie that didn't make it and you suspect it's because i kept photobombing the shit out of it that's on me and i'm sorry about that i think this could be improved so i upgraded the gpu from a 3090 at 20 cents an hour to a 4090 at 50 cents an hour a 4090 is like twice as fast as a 3090 so i think the price difference is justifiable i let it train for 20 more hours and here is a comparison between the two i'm so tired and i just wanna sleep i'm so tired and i just wanna sleep can open my eye can open my eye Yes, I'll just lay near and die. Yes, I'll just lay near and die.
It sounds a lot better and the metallic voice is greatly lessened. I could train it for longer and make it sound better but it will start to have diminishing returns. Basically that means that I am going to be spending more and more time and money for less and less improvement. And I don't have money and time. I wanna play Mori playing in real life Minecraft now. So with our voice done, we need to clone her face. I'm going to be using a program called Talking Head Anime from a single image tree. I have referenced this program on every video I made but I never really elaborated much on it but the gist is you can input a single image of an anime character and you can control her their faces as well as some of the body it is all possible because of some ai wizardry the base repository includes two demo programs one gives you sliders and options to control them and the other lets you map your face to their face with a phone so i'm going to use these two programs as reference and i'm going to integrate another ai program called open c face to this program open c face is a program that detects your face as well as whatever funny facial expressions you are doing. It is also used for pretty much all the VTuber software for face tracking. One popular one is VTube Studio. So I will combine these two programs to map her face to whoever I'm watching. So now I have her face and model. I can make her say anything I want and have her VTuber model say it. So I made a little program where I can input a video link and it'll do all the funky AI stuff. It works by getting the video and then separating the voice and what music or noise is present so we only get the voice this is the same process that we use when we were preparing the data set earlier once we have separated the voice and audio we are going to run the speech to speech ai on the vocals so that the voice will transform into kali's voice after that we're gonna add the vocals and the audio back together while this is happening it'll also track whoever's face is on the screen and map it into morris model so with all of that done all i do is click this funny button and this happens what you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips to you. Absolute fucking dummy. The same way that this is also teeth. Mag! They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. Listen, who among us? Um. I love you. I love you. What's this? What's the Amonis doing? Was that the bite of 87? Oh, and she can sing. Creep, bruh. Oh, man. So we back in the mine. Got our pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. I am pretty happy with the program, it worked. I can finally watch YouTube without cringing at the fact that it's filled with fleshy human beings and aren't anime girls. I can have Mori tell me the news, the latest e-celeb drama, and even have her sing for me. I was celebrating. This is happiness. I am in bliss. But then, I realized something. I saw a reflection of myself and I was shocked. I am a human being and not an anime girl. This is a massive problem, and luckily, this is something I can fix. I have the technology, I have the knowledge, I have the will. The solution was pretty simple. All I did was hook up the AI voice on my microphone so I sound like her. And then I have a phone capturing my face that I'm mapping to Morris' model. All of this is happening in real time. The only issue is that I have a funny accent, so her voice isn't really the same, but it's close enough. Pretty cool, isn't it? You can do quite a lot of stuff with this, like pretending to be her in chat rooms and all, or maybe even for some nefarious purposes. Well, provided that you can match the accent, which is something that I can't do. But me? Well, I have to do something really important. It is something that has to be done. Hello and welcome to the AI podcast where we interview AI anime girls. Today we have Hakure Reimu from Toho Project, Mori Kaliope from Hololife Project, and last but not least, Kurode Rika from Higurashi Project. So for our first topic today, let's... Oh, Rika, you have an announcement? Sure, feel free to talk. Me 